you know Prime Minister Harper very well, well at least you know how, how he was. You wrote about him in, in your, your other book, mm -hmm. and now even in this book, as a quote that you wrote that you were talking about what happened with, um, with you and with the Prime Minister. To some extent, oh, here. Harper can be suspicious, secretive, and vindictive, prone to sudden eruptions of white-hot rage over meaningless trivia, at other times falling into week-long depressions in which he is incapable of making decisions. I was tired of all the psychodrama, and I feel, feared, as I still do, that he might someday bring himself down Nixon-style by pushing too hard against the, the, uh, his networks of rules. That, that's a heavy statement yeah. to lay out about this guy. Yeah. Of course, you should also read what else I said, is that he's enormously intelligent and dedicated. Well, for sure. Uh, we expect that from a prime it's minister. It's balanced. I hope it's balanced. Yeah. What I wrote is balanced. But we, we, we need that from a prime minister, all that other yeah. stuff. Like, that smart stuff, that should be mm -hmm. the price of admission. But when we get to this place from a guy who was close to him, mm -hmm. you know that he's not going to love reading that. No. So it must have been a very considered paragraph. Yeah, it was. But, you know, I have nothing to lose at this point. I mean, I'm through with politics. I'm not working for any political party. Uh, just the only person I can embarrass now is myself. <laughs> do you think the Prime Minister is going to read this book? No. He's got a lot of things to do, like preventing World War III in the Ukraine. Is it going to happen? <clears throat> no, I don't think so. Okay. But uh, he's, he, no, 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 he's tied up. He doesn't give any thought to this. He's got big things on his, uh, on his plate. He'll, he might get some clips in his briefing package. Do you still fear that he might bring himself down Nixon-style? Well, the Senate thing caused him a lot of grief, didn't it? Uh, and I think that's one of the reasons why he's been trailing Justin in the polls. Maybe he can recover from it. I mean, actually, I hope he does. But um, this is sort of what I was afraid might happen, that this, his style of, of uh, secretive and ruthless control might become so apparent that it would turn people off. And I think that happened in the Senate case. So, um, But it's, you know, it's worked for him. I mean, he's been prime minister for what? Uh, Going on eight years, yeah. you know, you can hardly say he's been a political failure. He's been a political success, but uh, this this is uh, maybe the Achilles heel. It seems like all parties reach this point seven, eight years in, nine years in, when it just seems like the, the run is over, or at the very least, the run is in, in jeopardy. It's the first time we've seen any cracks in this government's armor, really. Yeah, that's yeah. right. This is the big one, and it may not be fatal. You know, we, I can't predict the future, yeah. so maybe two years, things will look from now, things will look very different. But uh, it. Uh, you know, it was a privilege to work for him. Uh, I'm thankful that he gave me that opportunity. Uh, I saw some things and uh, try and report them. Um, no enmity. I, by and large, I support most, not all, mm -hmm. but most of what he has done in government.